Aleluia. Kira ngoro ya kwa todwa rakiri maruta wato wemwati waluka lakoya lakoya jenti ego todo todo shakwe akira oi dali e moi momo. Tayarisha roho yangu Hili nisikie Na nipata imani ya kutenda Just open your mouth and tell God Whatever shall be prophesied by faith It becomes my portion Unua kinyo cha kuambia mungu leo Kita kato chajwa kwa imani Kiwe changu katika kiroho Katika jina la yesu Just open your mouth and tell God as your word comes let it be manifested in my heart let 
it be manifested in my spirit. Let it be my, 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 my manifested. If it will be mentioned a good health, it becomes my portion. If they will mention wealth, it becomes my portion. If they mean and they mention spiritual stability, it becomes my portion. Father, take moments of charge in this church. Let your Holy Spirit come and reign among us. As we hear your word, may it become a manifestation of power in our spirits. Joe will you seven wanao tutazama katika mitandao yetu na katika televisheni zetu na wamefika mwisho wapatie mwanzo mpya father refresh our spirits sisi tunategea kutoka kwako ili utubariki in jesus name amen let us celebrate jesus Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You look to your neighbor and tell them he is merciful. He is gracious. He is full of honor. He is God of greatness. Amen. And then let us celebrate that Jesus again. Pigia Yesu makofi mengine mazuri. Alafu geukia jirani yako. Geukia jirani yako wawili watatu wasalimie. Wasalimie waambie habari yako. Just open your mouth waambie vile Jumapili yako Juma limekuwa. Hata toka kwa kiti, toka kwa kiti enda papo nyuma. Hata unaoka kwa kiti usalimie wengine wawili.
are my neighbor. I have a testimony. You want to know my testimony? You want to know my testimony? Amen. Amen. A minister the billions of people in the world. I am alive. Mwambie katikati ya mabilioni ya watu. Ambia jirani yako, mwambie katikati ya mabilioni ya watu ambao wanaishi katika dunia. Mwambie hebu maji niko uhai. Mwambie that is my first testimony. Mufanyie hivi mwambie sinaga pesa mingi sinaga utajiri mwingi sinaga jina kubwa familia yetu haijulikani sana lakini hebu maji leo asubuhi wale watu wataishi uhai Mungu alisoma jina langu kwa hivyo nikumaanisha ninajulikana mbinguni Kwa hivyo unajulikana binguni. Hebu imagine hawakujui wewe. Hata hapa kuna watu hawajawahi kujua na jina. Lakini binguni na sio kujulikana tu. Limeandikwa mahali linasomwa. That is enough. Praise the name of the Lord. Mwambie nikijiangalia vile watu wamechafukia kwa changa vile watu wameharibiwa kichwa na bangi vile watu hawana mwelekeo wengine ndio wanatolewa matope ya mutaro saa hii na mimi niko na mawazo timamu ya kuamukia kanisani sema hiyo tu mimi nikiangalia inanitosha hata unaweza mpea ruhusa mwambie hebu ninuse mwambie hata ukisikia mafuta ya kukamua inajipakwa na mtu anapumua mwambie inajipakwa na mtu amepumua praise the name of the lord sasa muangalie kwa utulivu mwambie kuna kitu nataka tusikizane mwambie kwa sababu sio mimi nilikwambia ukae karibu na mimi mwambie ukiona nikiria uachane na mimi mwambie sio lazima nilie juu niko na dhambi naweza kuwa nalia kwa sababu ya furaha iliyo moyoni mwangu mwambie ukiona ninacheka mimi sio wazimu ninafurahishwa na upendo wa Mungu mwambie na ukiona nimelala sikiliza vizuri ukiona nimesinzia na nilale kanisani usijaribu kuniamsha hapa ndiyo mimi hupata amani. Alafu mwambie wewe out of the biggest family in this world I have you. You are my family member in the kingdom of God. Alafu shika yeye umkumbatie mwambie nakupenda. Ukuna ukuwe kama mawimbi upendo wa Yesu ukatizamuka Ukuna ukuwe kama mawimbi upendo wa Yesu ukatizamuka Ukuna ukuwe kama mawimbi upendo wa Yesu ukatizamuka Amen we can celebrate Jesus as we take our seats in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 amen amen it is a blessed sunday and i wish to welcome all of you in the presence of the lord 
And once again, once again, my names and my name is Bishop Elect Ben Kamau, and I thank God that I'm born again today in the presence of the Lord. I don't take it for granted that today I am a servant of God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't take it for granted that today I am serving God in my generation. Ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kushukuru wale watu ambao wamechukua mzigo wa kusimama na mimi na kunisaidia vile ambavyo pia na mimi nimesimama na wengi na wakaona vizuri siku yangu ya mafuta ya askofu nisingangane sana mimi kwa sababu huwa naenda pale ofisi ya pastor ngena na ninachungulia system ya kanisa ya kifedha nikiona 1500 ninashukuru Mungu kwa sababu hizo pesa ndizo tunaweka nazo hizi cabros na mkiangalia ni kama tumefika hapa around kama uko kwa cabro juu inua mkono kama mahali umekaa kuna cabro kurudi hivi ukiangalia hiyo that whole area is covered tumekuwa na shida kidogo ya mvua ukiangalia hapa tuko na shida kidogo lakini tulitengeneza kule barabara sasa tunafanya mkazi mpaka ya serikali ya kutengeneza drainage tumefanya hiyo kazi nilipigia area MCA wa hapa anipatie caravat maybe zitakuja sijapokea mpaka saa hii lakini nilimuomba juu hiyo ni kazi ya serikali na ni vizuri kusema mpaka saa hii sijapokea lakini nagojea kama tutapewa ni sawa kama hatutapewa sisi tuko sawa but next week lazima tutatengeneza hiyo drainage ili maji yasiingie tena kanisani kwa sababu kulinyesha mvua kubwa ikatoka ikavunja huko barabara maji yakajaa hapa but we thank god tuliweza kutengeneza engineer wetu wa macho kuona na kujua anaitwa ibu sijui ibu ameenda wapi ametoka tuko na maengineer wamesomea hapa na tuko na maengineer wetu wa kuona wanajua na wanashika na walikuja wakatengeneza kidogo sasa hatuna maji mengi na ninajua kwamba hii wiki tutatengeneza wale ambao wanachukua ukiwa mzigo wao na wanaenda wanapata 1500 wanaweka kwa ile namba yetu ya simu pesa zenu zinafanya kazi na mnaona tumejaza cabros nje na mchanga tumeletewa na brayo na tutakuwa tunaweka sasa hii wiki yote the remaining area itakamilika alafu wakuje wamwage mchanga wafanye compacting wapanguze alafu wapake furnish ile wanapakanga kanisa letu lote liwe sawa sasa tuingie kwa madirisha the ordination day tunaamini mpaka nje tutakuwa tumeweka cabros i want to thank pastor frank and the online church and leaders kupitia hawa watu na kanisa letu we managed to lay to raise it was on when on ilikuwa siku gani i think ilikuwa thursday tuliweza ku raise 1 million na tukalipa hiyo kazi ya cabros kwa sababu hatutaki washirika wetu hal hata wale hawana nguvu wasikie kama sio sehemu ya hapa we are in the right time blessed na tumebarikiwa kwa sababu ya wenzetu ambao hawana kwa hivyo tumesimama katika hilo pengo thank you so much pastor frank and the online church kwa sababu ya kusimama kwa pengo la wenzetu ambao wanapitia hali ngumu ya maisha kwa sababu muda unaokuja wale hawana ndio watakuwa nazo na wapeane katika jina la Yesu pia ningependa kushukuru Ibu and his team ukiangalia the front part of our church is it beautiful inakaa vizuri na hatujapaka rangi na kuna msalaba unawekwa mkubwa sana mahali kuna hiyo waya imehang na wiki hii nyingine wanakuja upande huu ili tuweze kufunika hii area yote na madhabahu ya mariziwe kazi yake kwa hivyo our altar shall be beautiful tumepata mtu mzuri 
amefanya quotation ya mkeka na tukimaliza tu rangi ya hapa mkeka utawekwa kutoka pale mpaka mahali ambapo awahasha amesimama hii area yote itakuwa na mkeka ndio tufanane international churches kwa sababu katika maono yangu mimi niliona kanisa kubwa litakuwa hapa linakaa stadium na hayo maono yatakuja kutimia katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwa hivyo wale ambao wamekuwa wakichukua jukumu in this church and in the online church tuliomba tu mtu atuweke 1 meter 1 eh? square meter hiyo tukaomba 1 square hiyo ni mahali umeketi kwa hivyo tukasema mtu aweke yake kwa hivyo kama hujatutumia 1500 haujaweka hako na tuja kuwekea pesa mingi tulikuwekea ile ya uwezo wako wale pia wamekuwa akinisaidia na pesa pledge zao kwa timu ya Reverend Ben Ordination na washukuru kina waruguru nimepata zako leo asubuhi eh? 50000 Mungu akubariki mheshimiwa wale wote wamekuwa kitupatia kina shiko kila mtu hakuna mtu zijapokea pesa yake kwa shukurani our honorable member of county assembly wa Muradha pia yeye nilipokea elfu zake hamsini kila mtu wako ndani ya hii and i want to thank god a lot of governors wame confirm we will have more than 17 governors all over kenya watakuwa hapa wakiongozwa na governor wa county yetu ya Kiambu his excellency kimaniwa matagi watakuwa hapa Ata, he will be here to host uh, the deputy president will be here and we shall thank god amen we will have the former president na mama yake watakuwa hapa pamoja na sisi nimejaribu kufikia viongozi wengi tutakuwa na mabishops wanatoka nje we will have all the way from burundi bishop aime will be here nimefikia watu wengi na tunaona our patron is working so hard tuone kama tutaweza kurudisha papi clever and dorcas kwa hili kanisa tena waje kwa sababu walisema wangependa kuwa katika hiyo ibada katika jina la Yesu it will be a very big event hata sisi imeanza kutushtua vile tulikuwa tunaona sasa tumeona imekuwa kubwa tulikuwa tunaulizana already mmeja lakini tunaongea na mwenye huu uwanja huko nyuma na huu mwingine na huu wa nyuma alikubali hata tubomoe ukuta tushikanishe tuweke dom tent na wengine wakae dom tent ya hapa we are expecting more than 40000 people watakuwa hapa tume confirm already soko ya ngombe tumepata tumepata mbuzi it is only sasa kufanya sherehe yetu hiba pamoja sababu in the history tunataka ordination ya Reverend Ben edikanona maudumere maguta na ada mimi ni mtu anaheshimu tumbo ya mwanadamu sana na ndio maana kwa hili kanisa tukimaliza ibada lazima wenzetu wale hawana chakula wabebe and i want to thank god i want to appreciate all men wazee wote wa JCM hebu simameni kwa miguu yenu wazee wote mimi nina imani after friday fellowship wa mama muli notice the difference tulikuwa na ibada ya wazee the mystic of nabal na ikakuwa siku ya maana sana na atumia we katika na nyi na tulikubaliana kwa sababu hatukumalizana vizuri no hali atwakinyanirie au mtu ni amenyire kila kitu mita kroo huko na mama hawa wazee wako na kitu wanajua hamjui kwa hivyo mkiona nyumbani kuna badilika wewe unakuja unaniona na si kitu mingi unanunulia tu kaafya juice kachupa kamoja unaniambia reverend kohano praise the name of the lord pigieni wazee makofi mazuri mungu wetu awabariki kama vile pastor frank amesema vijana wetu watakuwa hapa kanisani from 18th up to 20th we have our seminar na inaitwa upgrading myself upgrading myself is our theme na itakuwa hapa we will have our pastor pastor 
Victor all the way from Nyahururu you know Pastor Victor is a youth mentor atakuwa na sisi we will have Pastor Joan all the way from JCM Nakuru City atakuwa pamoja na sisi we will have our resident pastors Pastor Ngina and Pastor Frank watakuwa hapa and I also will be here to impact our youth watakuwa hapa na wazazi mwaachilie kuanzia saa hadi saa kumi. chakula watakula hapa na pia chai wakienda nyumbani watakunywa hapa kwa sababu kanisa limebarikiwa all you have to give them is a bible a bible pen and a book so that they write a future on that book pigieni vijana wetu makofi wanapojiandaa kuja hapa i know our Thika church our kenol church and maybe our moranga church watakuwa hapa kujiunga pamoja na sisi nataka kuhubiri kwa kifupi kwa sababu uninakimbia kirenyaga ni mnajua kuna mambo yanaendelea kule na ninataka kukimbia na nirudi ili ni join mkutano pale kwa Mr. and Mrs. Charles hebu simameni tuwapigie makofi hawa watu kama kuna kitu kizuri nilipewa katika maisha yangu ni hawa watu wawili and when i reflect kuna siku nilikuwa nauliza i wish my father and my mother were alive to see the impact that their son is making in the community but whenever i miss them nakimbiaka kwa mr charles na mrs charles and whenever we talk and speak huwa nasikia mzazi ameniongelesha mr charles and mrs charles may god bless you hata kwa ile kazi ugumu na uzito mmechukua kunifanyia kwa sababu ya ordination yangu sometimes huwa ninaona ni kama mnaona ken mna hata sijui kama mnaweza fanyia ken yale mambo mnanifanyia i thank god because of our new uh, four star hotel iko na mapicha ya wanyama ambao mmetutengenezea pale we appreciate and god bless you and may god keep you alive more years to see where bishop ben will go with the compassionate gospel mungu wabariki sana I want us to appreciate our church matron Damaris Muridi for what she is doing to the community. Siku ya jana wale tulienda kule total total uh, home for autism kasarani. Tulipata watoto ambao hawezi kujipea chakula, hawezi enda choo. Sisi ndio tuliwapea chakula na vijiko. Wengine wetu hapa wana nguvu sana ndio walikuwa na wa, wanatoa hao watoto diapers and we were really touched Mr Mwangi I know you cried a lot I know Satima alilia sana nilikuwa nawaona when we were doing this everybody was touched so let us appreciate our matron and our mobile spares for taking us there hiyo kitu ilinisumbua usiku mzima nimejigeuza usiku mzima sababu niliguzwa sana na isipokuwa na nyuki ni mbali kwa sababu tulisema tuli tutawanunulia shamba I wish na nyuki si mbali ningewapea hiyo nimepewa but I, I thank God because tulianza kuwa na mzigo huo kwa sababu watoto 40 wa autism wengine walitupwa na wazazi hospitali wengine wakatupwa barabarani huyo mama akawaokota tulipata mtu wa miaka 40 na amelala kwa kitanda kanatoshana hapa they don't grow wana kuna wengine walikuwa kwa nyumba hawangetolewa and when i was there i asked my god what do i normally do or say when i look at my healthy children nikaambia mungu unisamehe kama nishawahi kukutetesha nisamehe and i i pray to god that jcm tutafanya mabadiliko katika hiyo familia kwa sababu ukipatiwa huyo mtoto huwezi kana yeye. Sababu wanataka care palliative care. Na Mungu alitusaidia and hapo tukiwa hapo we were manage to raise over 600,000 na tukawaachia hiyo shule na tukawaachia chakula cha kutosha na najua tutakaporudi tena kwa sababu tulisema hao tutakuwa tunawaangalia kila mwezi mara moja they need help na ukipata nafasi hata ukiwa peke yako pitia hapo ili utimize malengo ya injiri tunayohubiri god bless you damaris for that 
initiative na sasa tunapoelekea na kuendeleza kama kanisa tafadhali walio hapa jiungeni na vikundi vyenu wa mama ambao mko hapa na mjajiunga na kikundi cha wamama jiunge na vikundi wazee mlio hapa jiunge na kikundi cha wazee kama we ni mjane umepoteza mume ama mke ona pasta kit mimi ndio nilimuita pasta juu mume wake alikuwa mchungaji na mke wa mchungaji si mchungaji na nikasema tutampatia hilo jina umuone yeye ndiye amesimamia widows ingia hapo kama saa hii nimepewa bursaries sijui kama zilifika nimepewa bursaries na governor na MCA na tuna widows ambao watoto wao wanangangana kusoma but through kit we can identify the needy cases kwa hivyo mjiunge na vikundi ili kazi iwe rahisi na najua kuna story nitakuja kuwapea ili tupea huzuni sana last week na, ama wacha tu niiseme na tu niiseme kwa sababu ili niletea shida kama mchungaji tulipata mshirika aliyepoteza mtoto wake hapa na nikatoa my team nikawapatia magari wakaenda all the way up to Kirinyaga lakini walipofika pale tulipata picha isiyo nzuri maana tulipata mshirika wetu ni mshirika wa makanisa mawili ni mshirika wa PCA na ni mshirika wa JCM tulipofika pale kwa vitabu za pastangena mshirika wetu hajulikani pesa zile wa mama wanatoa huwa hatoi mzee wake pesa zile wazee wanatoa hatoi lakini kule PCA wanatoa matoleo yote na cha kushangaza huyo mama ni pati ya security na huwa anapima zile nguo na ni 1400 anapata pesa ya kupima 1400 lakini matoleo ya welfare hatoi na unajua welfare ni zile pesa nyinyi huchukua kwa kanisa wakati umepata janga wakati umepata harusi ama graduation welfare money huwa inawekwa welfare account ya hili kanisa ni pesa za kukimbilia wakati wewe umepatwa na jambo na unajua kuna mambo ambayo hautarajii kupata lakini yanakuja pesa hiyo ni sio itengagerero zinachotwa zinasaidia mtu na nikaambia hawa hata ingawa case iko hivyo toeni pesa na wakatoa 30000 wakampelekea walipofika pale kwa mazishi wachungaji wetu wakafukuzwa na njoroge wakafukuzwa na wakaambua ile ripoti kanisa lile imeshika ni kwamba huyo mshirika ni kumwajiri tumemwajiri anafanya kazi hapa sasa vijana wangu wakaaibika kanisa letu likanyimwa hata nafasi ya kusalimiana kama we ni mshirika wa JCM ingia kwenye system because you are the system chukua kadi kwa pastangena anza kutoa matoleo ya welfare and they assess ndio jambo likikupata hakuna mtu anajiweza hii dunia usaidiwe na kanisa lako because we preach the compassionate gospel walikuwa wanakuja hapa na mimi sitaogopa kusema hivyo wanaabudu mpaka saa tano alafu wanatoka polepole pole wanamalizia ibada pc that is not the way even the kingdom of god has got principles mudu ne kare hali ya rame nyota idio wake ni weka hata na nimesikia maongeo mengi ya kwamba kuna kanisa ambazo mtu akikufa bajeti yao ni elfu kumi. lakini JCM watakupea hata hamsini. so nitaenda nionekane huko lakini kuna mahali nina msimamo ujue na ukumbuke ya kwamba tumetoka katika dini za mpangilio na tunaelewa ona nile dali ko digie hubire guo agikorodo limurumiriri boma akanida rudi ndo kwa mako ndine kwe hubetu guo makemenya haha ni haga ya kiugugwa 
na kiajimote kwa hivyo niliona ni vizuri i pass that information because of tomorrow praise the name of the lord finally ndio niingie katika mahubiri kama uko wapi kimbia hapa mbio mnajua na mnaelewa katika kila kanisa kuna the kingdom principles and one of the kingdom principles of the kingdom is obedience obedience means kufuata sheria ambazo zimewekwa na mikakati ambayo imewekwa na leo wakati tulikuwa tunaimba hapa wakati kama huro alikuwa anaongoza praise asubuhi watu wengi wameniambia praise team imeinuka praise team imeinuka kwa sababu ya maombi nimewakazia sana they are fasting and praying for their ministry because praising and worshiping god on the altar is serving just the way i serve na nikawauliza every tuesday mimi nakuanga fasting nikawauliza do you normally fast hata wakati kanisa lina mjengo kabla turudi kwa our olive mountain na wakaingia katika mpangilio huo huwa wako hapa anayewaondoa hapa ni pastor ngena akiingia discipleship classes they have been working hard wamekuwa kifanya mazoezi na kuangalia tabia zao na mienendo vile walikuwa na post tiktok zao na facebook wameanza kuwa watu ambao wanaoneshana they are ministers together with bishop ben na mnajua kuna wale ambao nilisimamisha hapa mbele kwa sababu ya kuvunja sheria kamau akiwa mmoja wao na kamau wakati tulimketisha chini akakubali kurudi darasa la kurekebisha tabia na amefuata na mwezi mmoja amemaliza nikamweka chini ya wachungaji kwa sababu biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Timotheo ya kwamba mmoja wenu akikosa mumkanye kama hatasikia muitieni waze praise the name of the lord so kama unilimkanya akasikia nikamwitia wazee na wakamusikia na sasa kama walikuja ofisi amemaliza kwa sababu tulisema we must take them through the process again so kama is ready and he is going back to the praise team as from today na kile ambacho alifanya tukakosana amewacha na nimemfuata na amesema aliwacha amekuwa ame, akiwa join katika maombi na katika practice na kama huwa amerekebika ili kanisa hatuna shida lakini kama mtu hatafuata tabia na mienendo ya madhabahu hatutakuwa pamoja hata uwe na kipawa kinachotoka moto hata uwe na kipawa ukiimba tunaanguka sisi wote if you don't follow the principles of the kingdom you are not a minister kama huwa amekubali lakini wale wengine they are still in their ego and pride ikishuka watatupata kwa sababu sisi ndiyo tuko hapa kwa hivyo kama huwa nataka niletee mafuta tumrudishe hapa kwa jina la Yesu aondoke kwenu arudi katika madhabahu tuelekeze mikono katika jina la Yesu father in the name of jesus christ we thank you because of kamau thank you for the service and the talent that you install in him when you created him right now father he is prepared to serve you once again and it is our prayer that he receives a new chance from you to serve on this altar may you remember him direct him light up his paths as he is serving you may you instill the fear of the glory of the lord in him and what he stands for in the principle of the kingdom in the name of the father the son and of the holy spirit amen amen sasa wewe si wa huko wewe ni wa huko enda huko wakupokee tena 
Amen. Na wale marege au kiradhi mweli ogi umwe. Amen. Mpigie ni makofi mazuri katika jina la Yesu. Amen. I can see we have prophetess Rebecca with us and your husband Mr. Gishuru. Simameni muinulia watu mkono hivi. Hao watu ni wakwetu na kuru na ninawapenda sana. Geukeni hivyo watu wawaone hivyo 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 pigieni hao watumishi makofi mazuri. And God has blessed them. They are now around Kiambu and we appreciate God that you are here together with us and will walk us uh, with us this journey. Karibuni JCM na Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. I am also aware that we have Pastor Mwangi here. Pastor Mwangi atakuja hapa mbiu. Pastor Mwangi John tumeserve na ye sana. I was his senior when he was a church leader and also when he became a deacon I was a pastor he was still under me and we served together in Kiambu Apa Kiambu he was serving in Gadaidi and I was serving in Gedongori town we served together and uh, he was ordained a pastor and he joined me in the pastoral office when we were still in Gadaidi na siku ya leo ninaelewa kuna watu wametoka Kiambu pamoja na mchungaji John hebu simameni wale wamekuja pamoja na yeye wasimame jooni hapa jooni hapa mbele na mke wake yako hapa Mmekuja pamoja na mke wake. Jooni hapa, jooni hapa niko. Nuri huyu haya. Kule atoa kwa wao ametigirita haha bele. Amen. Jeroge. Amen. Hawa watu nimetoka na wao mbali sana wape mke wa John asimame hapa karibu na na B hawa watu nimetoka na wao mbali sana na omudu ni aliado wa goro yake Na walipoanza kanisa lao Kiambu that is how many years ago Seven years ago nilikuwa na wahudumia huku Wakati huyu alikuwa church leader maguta mahakama kilio manini miaka minane iliyopita I was serving them and giving a direction a spiritual direction in their church Na siku ya leo Mungu amewawezesha The freedom of God has come upon them Na kwa sababu kazi yangu ni kulea Na mnajua kazi yangu mimi mimi ni apostle Paul kulea kuinua kuweka na nilimwambia mwaka huu tuliambiwa that first it is our year of sema na sauti it is our year of na nikawaambia mwaka huu tutakuwa tunaimba kama diamond unachukua unaweka today pastor mwangi is here amekuwa katika uchunguzi wetu wa kanisa you know Mr Charles Jenga and our patron ndio wamesimamia department of church planting ndio wamekuwa kishughulikia hayo maneno na walikaa na pastor Mwangi chini yale maswali huulizwa hapa yakaulizwa 
kile hufanywa kikafanywa and now ladies and gentlemen nikawaita leo they have been having fellowships and now by the powers bestowed on me by the constitution of JCM church i want to officially present to you JCM church Kiambu town They now are our youngest church, our newly born baby, JCM Kiambu Town. Praise the name of the Lord. Na Pastor Mwangi John ndiye anakuwa anahudumu huko. Sisi mtu akifunguka macho tumuelekeze njia aifuate tunamwachilia. I know maybe next week or next Sunday we shall be presenting to you JCM Church Maimahio and JCM Church Mwea. They are in the pipeline and I know tutaziachilia hivi karibuni. We are undertaking good measures to have strong churches na kuna ile vitu tunaangalia kanisa letu linapo inuka. God has allowed us to have a church in Kisumu and a church in Meru na zinakuja hivi karibuni and of course by the grace of God our Canada church is going on well their fellowships and our Germany fellowship is also going so well kwa hivyo nikimaliza ibada yangu ya kuwa askofu nitaenda hizo inchi mbili mm onie ili tuzindue hayo makanisa yetu ndio nao sasa hawa Nairobi City Fellowship ikuwe imejiform vizuri nao tuwafungulie kanisa. Kwa hivyo nataka tuwaelekeze mikono tuwabariki siku ya leo na tupatie kasisi wao mafuta. Sasa kuanzia leo nyinyi ni compassionate gospel. Siku ile nitakuja hiyo kanisa nikose unga tunakosana. Siku ile nitakuta hiyo kanisa hakuna mavazi ya kusaidia maskini tena tunakosana. Siku ile nitakuta kwa hiyo kanisa hakuna hata sufuria na stove ya kupikia watu tena tukosane. Na unaona familia yenu ikikubali hata my aunt ako hapa. Sasa ukiona huyu ni my aunt, kuja my aunt wa kuone hapa mbele. This is my real aunt. This is this is my real aunt huyu. Si mnaona rangi ya kwetu? We talk na modo muiruno wako iko nake. This is my real aunt. I have served him kutoka nikiwa mdogo sasa wale wanataka kusikia sasa huyu wale wamnatengeneza documentary mchukue huyu atawapea story zangu na mimi baba ya huyu mimi nimetajwa baba ya ule amezaa huyu kwa hivyo sasa mwangi unaona nimekupatia my aunt ukiona familia yenu wanakufuata kuna kitu shida kubwa katika baraka inakuwa familia yenu kwa hivyo ukiona familia wameanza kukubali unaona kuna mahali unaenda thank you so much my aunt yeah. continue serving god and john and i know mungu atakupeleka mbali tuwaelekeze mikono baba katika jina la yesu tunaleta hili kanisa letu jipya la kiambu town mikononi mwako ninajua hizi ni roho ambazo zinahitaji na zinataka sana kuhudumu chini ya upako wa kuhurumiana chini ya upako wa kushikilia wasiojiweza chini ya upako wa kulia machozi kwa sababu ya wanaosumbuka as we release them to go and serve may they go and become tunakupatia mchungaji mwangi na mke wake mikononi mwako wanapolisha na kuongoza hili kanisa neema yako imtoshe mafuta yako ya muongoze bingu imuongelele na baraka zako ziwe ishara katika maisha ya siku ile tutaenda pale kufungua kanisa lile jipya tutakuwa na shukurani ndani ya mioyo yetu when we now release them to go and find favor to go and find and get favor and grace in your uh, in your sight and we pray for them in the name of the father the son and of the holy spirit amen amen pastor frank wape mafuta haya sasa hawa wanamwagilia kwa mikono hawa hawa sasa Mujue sasa wewe ni baba, wekelea mikono kwa huyu. 
Yo kama ataona moto mnaona wote. Mkibarikiwa mnabarikiwa wote. Mimi ni mwabariki the speed that God is carrying JCM with. May you receive a spirit of God's speed in the name of the Father, the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Nilikuwa nimeambia Jeroge James atuletee bendera na imekaa sana leta ile iko kwa madhabahu haraka sasa patron kujeni hapa na chairman na matron wa kanisa mpatiane bendera hapa watu wanapokeaga bendera sasa ile kabla msimamishe hata ya inchi mtaweka ile sasa kujeni hapa kwa washirika wenu hapa katikati mpokee bendera and i thank god you have a very visionary chairman huyu jamaa ni mtu mzuri wewe ni mtu na dukana kwe na matwini wa kinyogo ginya na mariboko oh we smart huyu jamaa kama kuna mtu ana maono ni huyu chairman huyu chairman i remember kutoka kahema ka watu na watano wali manage kujenga kanisa la over 1000 sita pale Kiambu under his leadership Mungu akubariki na mimi najua kwanza hata kuja saa hii nimekufanya interim chairman kuja hapo sasa uri wewe umechaguliwa headquarter sasa simama hapo gakora kuu kwena dhina da kwera ni ukaririka na kula toimire amen kwa hivyo chairman and uh, your team kujeni hapo mupokeze pastor mwangi na mke wake na chairman wao tumewapedea tumewapatia bendera nendeni mkaipepele enda pale pale katikati pale katikati ndio washirika wenu wawe nyuma na nyinyi washirika mtaipokea kwa makofi na nyinyi peke yenu mupige shangwe na vigeregere tusikie kama mmepokea compassionate gospel muipeleke Kiambu Church and now we present to you JCM Church Kiambu Township tuwapigie makofi mazuri katika jina la Yesu amen amen and amen amen sasa endeni ukaipeperushe kwa baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu in the name of the Father the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen and amen we can have our seats back in the presence of the Lord hallelujah wapigieni makofi mazuri amen tunaendelea vizuri angalia mwenzako mwambie hii kanisa ndio hujipeleka si uangalie mwenzako vizuri muulize kwani hujakula Uliza mwenzako kwani hujakula? Amesema aji? Hajakula? Mwambie enda the Lord's store. <laughs> Amen. Let us appreciate Jesus once again. Ambia mwenzako Calvary expectations. Mwambie matarajio baada ya msalaba. Hebu kuwa na nafasi ndogo Uliza mwenzako wewe una matarajio yapi baada ya msalaba Na lazima akwambie kama huoni mtu wa kuuliza umekaa peke yako na ni makosa Muuliza vizuri una matarajio yapi baada ya msalaba Praise the name of the Lord Mimi kama Reverend Ben nina matarajio ya kwamba nitapata msingi zaidi ndani ya moyo wangu kuhusu injili nina matarajio ya kwamba kuvuvuka kwa Yesu Kristo hakuniachi nikiwa maskini kama kuna wakati nitaishi vizuri ni sasa kama kuna wakati nitasaidiana vizuri ni sasa kama kuna wakati nitakuwa na overflow ya financial blessings ni sasa kama kuna wakati nitapata afya ya mzuri ya mwili ni sasa That is my expectations after the cross. The expectations of Calvary. And to those who are here not here on Sunday. To reach on Monday we had a holy communion day. Tulijaribu na tukaongea kuhusu gharama ya msalaba. The pain, the agony, the cost that Jesus underwent to salvage the whole world and we all agreed ya kwamba sisi sio kazi ya bure sisi sio watu hivi hivi gharama yetu ilifanywa msalabani we are valuable tell your neighbor you are valuable ambia mwenzako hata wakuchukie wewe haukaichuki 
Mwambie hata upakwe matope wewe haukai matope Mwambie hata wakuite majina wewe haufanani majina. Mwambie kuna gharama iliendwa na gharama yako ilifanyika msarabani. Na aliyefanya ile gharama aliifanya kwa upendo. Kwa hivyo hata kama hawakupendi kuna mahali unapendwa. Hata kama hawakuiti kuna mahali unaitwa. Hata kama hawana huruma na wewe kuna mahali ulihurumiwa. Ora gana dile to Vire wa wendo wa mudarava dura gana dire te bota pole yo no watu yo ponende wa vire ne mora ta we te ya de wa e ya gante ka o gai wa mo yo e ya quero te a tora na vida e fie ka ni a me furu The person that underwent pain for you is the king of kings. Kama utasema amen umepewa ruhusa uende kanisa ina nyama zako. Hii kanisa hata bishop wake ni noise maker. This is a noise making church. Praise the name of the Lord. Wacha kukaa na ustarabu ati. Bana hii kanisa ni ya noise makers. Hata bishop wake ni noise maker. Hata nikiwa shule mimi Nilikuwa naandikwa noise maker hata kama siko. Oh, usilete uprofession wako hapa hadi sasa wewe ni engineer unatukalia na degree wewe. Katika haya maneno ya ufalme sisi wote ni watoto wa Mungu. Na kuanzia leo nilikuwa nasoma hili neno likanikoroga. Na hata leo ndilo naendelea nalo nililohubiri hapa siku ya Monday. Praise the name of the Lord. My expectations on the cross. Kuna mahali nilikuwa nasoma jana usiku. Nikapata ufunuo mpya. Na mimi nataka tugawane na ninyi huu ufunuo. It is only that I am preaching and I'm a man. There is a revelation I got yesterday. Sijui kama unajua siku hizi watu wanaokubaliana na mtu kama anahubiri ukweli ama uongo ni TikTok. Sijui kama TikTok itakubaliana na mimi. Unajua siku hizi nimesikia tunaingia huko TikTok ni tap 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 share share. <laughs> tap 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 share 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 nitumieni lion lion lion. <laughs> Sijajua hapo nitaonyeshwa na na Gerard. Ndiye anajua tap 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 asijui nikisikia mpaka kuko na kofia sijui nitaivaa lini. Please the name of the Lord. There is a new revelation that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand. When God gave out Jesus Christ, the Bible says, "For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever shall believe in Him will never perish." Tell me, Mimi, sit a perish. <laughs> 